Hey friends, and welcome back to this week's Self Love Masterclass. As you can see by the title of this video, I wanna to talk to you about the importance of trusting the process. Now this is something that is truly challenging for people that are at all different levels of their self love journey. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing spiritual practice, how often you see your doctor or therapist, we all have moments and periods in our lives when we question the direction that that we're going in, when we wonder if maybe we should stop or go backwards, or where we feel like we don't even know what to do next. In my personal experience, as well as my professional experience working with women and coaching women over the last near decade, there's a couple of things that we really need to examine when we're having these feelings of being lost and confused and uh, unclear about what our purpose is. The first is for us to really examine what our intentions are. Like, what do we really want? Okay, because a lot of the time, this lack of clarity or this confusion arises from the uncertainty around what we actually want in life. The reality is that as we grow, as we evolve, as we learn more about ourselves, as our self-esteem shifts and changes depending on what we're going through, our wants, our desires, our beliefs change. And if we're not constantly taking a look at what our intentions are, we can go into this place of autopilot um, where life is just happening to us rather than us creating life. The second thing that I think is really critical for all of us is to then take a look at the big picture. A lot of the time when we're not trusting the process, when we're feeling off and confused and lost, it's because we're only looking at where we are right now. We're only focused on this moment. And I can tell you from personal experience, for example, when I was growing my business or when I was deciding to go back to school, when I was only taking a look at what I was feeling right now in this moment, the only thing that I wanted to do was quit. In fact, I started to be flooded with all of these feelings, these negative feelings where I wasn't believing in myself or where that inner critic was really attacking me. If you've been feeling a little bit lost or confused, ask yourself right now, are you focusing on the big picture or are you only dealing with the crisis that is immediately in front of you? It can even be another kind of setback, nose in your face or people not believing in you or feeling like you're going through this expansion expansion where you're changing friends or changing locations or environments. You know, these things are really, really hard and sometimes painful. It can even be a breakup. Like for most people, they start to question and doubt the process when something that feels painful or something that feels uncomfortable happens. By really taking a look at the big picture, you're able to go, okay, this is what is happening to me right now, but I firmly believe and know that this is all a part of the process and this is happening for a reason. There's actually a lesson here I'm meant to learn so that I can apply it to the overall thing, the overall goal, or the overall dream that I am committed to. If we can move away from this need for instant gratification or this need to only just get ourselves out of the pain, the, the, the feelings of loss, grief, confusion, whatever we're going through, and we can ground ourselves in that big picture, that it doesn't matter how many setbacks we encounter, it doesn't matter how many times we fail, it doesn't matter how many no's we encounter, it doesn't matter if people don't believe in us, it doesn't matter if we lose friends that possibly were no longer meant to be in our life, it doesn't matter what kind of challenge or adversity comes our way, we are able to get back up again and put the next foot forward on 
our path. No one said that a self-love journey would be an easy journey. No one said being yourself, loving yourself, taking care of yourself and being an ambassador for wellness and truth and authenticity and all the things that unite human beings, that that would be easy. But what I do know for sure is that your perspective, your voice and everything that you have to offer is important and that you're needed and that you're worthy and that you are deserving. So don't let fear or doubt take you off track. I am so grateful for your time and your energy, for you being here with me so that we can connect on this level and have these kinds of deep conversations. I hope that it has been transformational for you and meaningful for you and that when you leave this video, you will go and do something loving and beautiful for yourself and for others. If you have not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, definitely do that. If you're new to this channel, check out the other videos and the other playlists, make your own playlist, you know, do whatever feels right for you so you can just keep getting the self-love message into your bones. If you're not already following me on Instagram, come over and do that. We've got like 11,000 hardcore people who believe in self-love and are supporting each other there. And I post there every single day. All right, until we see each other next time, stay true to yourself. And don't you forget that we are in this together.